welcome to the City of Claremont's official website, claremontfl.gov. We are continually updating and adding new enhancements to the site. We recently added a quick guide on how do I. How do I find if I live in the Claremont city limits? What you would do is just drop down this menu, come into that. Now make sure it's okay to proceed to the site. You can place your address. Once you do this, the city's map will appear and everything in yellow is within the city limits. So as you can see, we're right here. So this is a great resource if you're ever trying to find out if you actually do live in the city limits. The city of Claremont is only about 20 square miles, but the area that expands that has the Claremont address goes on for many, many more. Also, if you've ever been driving around and you wonder who's in charge of that street, what's going on, you can click the road ownership and maintenance and it'll actually tell you with a guide on who owns which particular street or who maintains it. All the roads in green are maintained by the city of Claremont, red are county roads, yellow are state roads, and the blue are private roads. So this gives you an idea that if you do have a question about the road quality, any, any potholes or anything that you'd like to see done on the road, this is a great resource in order to find out who to contact in order to fix the road. A new idea that we had here is what's coming to Claremont. You'll go in and it's a list of all the things that are in works to come to Claremont. For example, we're getting a Chipotle. If you click the Chipotle, it'll actually show the area on where the new restaurant is going. This is where the new Costco is. So it's going out in front of the new Costco. You could come down and see the Citrus Cabanas, which is over near the post office. So all of these things is a good way to find out what's coming to your town. Have you ever wondered how to find a relative or a friend who's buried in Oak Hill Cemetery? There's even a button for that. It brings up a map of the cemetery and you could search any name that we have in the cemetery. And what'll happen is it'll bring up the names and the locations within the cemetery of where they're buried. Now also, if you're looking to purchase spots within the cemetery, the first thing we need to know, are you a resident of the city of Claremont? If you are, you can purchase ground spaces in the cemetery. Ground spaces that are available for sale are in green. Dark blue is a burial. Light blue means they're sold, but there's no one buried in the spot. So it's a good resource to find out where you would like to be or just to find a lost relative or a friend where you could go out and visit. Now, I hope this helped a lot. Check back from time to time as this continues to grow on a weekly and sometimes daily basis. Have a great day. Hello, Claremont. Even though Claremont is not a beach town or near the coast, we still need to pay attention to Florida's hurricane season. Weather experts all agree multiple storms will form in both the Atlantic and the Gulf. Many of those storms will be named, but remember, a storm does not have to be named to cause serious damage. Please take the time and prepare your family, home, and businesses now. 
fill your emergency kit with essential items such as food, water, batteries, trim your trees, clear rain gutters, decide how you will secure outside objects such as trash cans, uh, lawn furniture, which will most likely fit in your garage. Large items such as trampolines, ATVs, boats, and swing sets will need to be secured. So make sure you have enough straps and tie downs to do this. Clemout's website has good information to help you get storm ready. I encourage you to visit it now and bookmark it. So if and when a storm threatens Clemout, you'll know where to go for important information and continually updated information, including shelter and sandbag location, expected impacts and other alerts. Please prepare now and stay safe, Clemout. Hello Claremont community, I'm David Ezell, Fire Chief for the City of Claremont. With the 4th of July just around the corner, we want to remind everyone to stay safe during the holiday season and remind everybody that every year we have nearly 10,000 people that are injured by fireworks and nearly 20,000 fires are started with over 5,000 of those on the 4th of July. The only safe way to enjoy fireworks is to go to a professional fireworks display. This coming 4th of July, the City of Claremont will be hosting its annual Red, White & Boom uh, ceremony at, at Waterfront Park. It'll be starting at 5 p.m. with a fireworks display at 9 p.m. We encourage you to come out and enjoy fireworks in a safe manner. So stay safe and enjoy the 4th of July holiday. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Keeping Up with Claremont. You can visit claremontfl.gov for more details or send an email to info at claremontfl.org. So until next time, stay safe, be kind, and have fun.